Logic zero, example 23.2, recognizing modus ponens in a complex form. Here we have an argument that looks like this. What we want to do is to develop the skill to be able to look at this and see that this follows the modus ponens form. So in order to do that, you need to bracket the component parts. A and notice, you know, like, okay, this antecedent is being affirmed in the second premise. So le let's bracket that and see, oh, does that work out? Oh, if we bracket the consequent of the first premise, is that the conclusion? Yes, it is. And so we can let P equal A and let Q equal B or D. And let's make those substitutions. So I'm going to copy this and paste it with those brackets. And then wherever we see A, we're going to replace it with P. So P, P, okay. And then where, wherever we see B or D, we're going to replace it with Q. And we can get rid of all these brackets now. And we see that this form is modus ponens. So this is the skill that I want you to develop here is to be able to do this really mentally. And that's where we want to get to is we want to be able to look at the original argument and just mentally see the pattern and see that it fits modus ponens.